skincare bitch. So yes, I, I care. I, I get down into it. Yeah. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit. You ain't special till I made you so. You better act like you know that I've been through worse to you. Hey guys, Super TV. Today I'm back for another video. Right now, I'm just getting ready to hit up the grocery store and the gym. It's pretty late. We're on the late night tips this time. Wow. Child. Anyways. So my wig, I was literally wearing this wig and I just took it off because like I sweated it out. But you know what? We're going to throw this back on for the little running errands because whatever. Yeah, you're basically just running errands with me today. So here's the to-do list. We're going to go to the gym. Then after, we're going to go grocery shopping. I have to cook. I want to do my toes. I need to wash and reinstall this wig before the new week starts. We have the hat. Hat. We're going to throw it in a little ponytail for the gym and so it's out of my face for these errands. And then we're going to go about our business. All right, y'all. We outside with it. Hold on. I have to lock the car. We at the Planet Fitness with it. Anyways, so I don't really have a set amount of exercises I want to do. Let me tell y'all on the locker room Look at these cute little notes. Never forget your worth. They're here for a reason. You got this. Um, uh, let's unbig our bags. Nice, but I keep going. Nice, but I keep going. Anyways, y'all. We're in Planet Fitness, and like I was saying outside before I got anxious, <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what workouts I want to do, because I definitely, like, when you get to the gym, you don't want to keep doing random workouts. You'll not, you're not going to see um growth because you're like working out different parts of your muscle every single time instead of continuously working out the same part today we are going to do a mix of abs hips but mm -hmm. i'm hearing a lot of unnecessary noise i don't like that but we'll do three ab workouts two butt two hip for the butt ones i want to do hip thrusts with this i got some shin if y'all needed one but hip thrusts and backwards lunges. I feel like those have really been working for me. So I'm gonna stick with that. For hips, we're gonna do the hip adductor machine, duh. And some cable kickbacks. For abs, that's the thing. Cause I wanna do like, so let me tell you, let me put you on. So there's a difference between ab workouts and core workouts. Dudes, they be doing ab workouts cause it makes them, it doesn't like, slick your body it makes it kind of square and then like you can kind of see i have abs but that's not like cute in my dress like abs poking out the dress not that cute but a core workout slims your waist down and of course doing back workouts too but i don't do back workouts because in order to do back workouts you low-key have to do an arm workout i don't like that Hey y'all, y'all can't really see me because I'm in the car and the lights are off. Well, I mean, it's dark. The lights aren't off, obviously. Anyways, I'm like kind of pissed. It's because one, I go to the gym in a great mood thinking, oh, I'm ready to kill this workout. I need to get back on my gym shit. I need to be eating my protein every day, X, Y, Z. But why when I go in there, I spend like 15 minutes in the locker room trying to connect my headphones. Then I just fuck around and look it up. I have the Raycons. I look it up. They're basically saying like, my case is fine. My case is charged. Everything's fine. The headphone itself is broken. And I just want to know how did that happen when I keep the headphones in the case? Like if it's not in my ear, 
it's in the case so what the case not protecting it or what's going on with that and then that kind of just threw me off because like if y'all go to the gym and if you know you know like it's just weird working out just with silence like you need that you know that pump that that you know that motivation so honestly fuck whatever i said <laughs> before i started working out we did three workouts just my essential ones we did two hip and the hip thrust which i i honestly could have did the backwards lunges but i just want to get out of there so bad when i tell you i spent like maybe 30 minutes in there and 15 of those minutes was me trying to fix my headphones they probably was like this girl came in here and played around yeah yeah i did i always go to dollar tree first because one they be having the newest hottest shit you know what i'm saying like yeah not every okay not everything's a dollar anymore but it's like they have some good shit that i don't mind paying more oh my fucking god they have some good shit that <laughs> i'm so pissed but I'm gonna get over it. I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it as we speak. I'm literally so bad trying to work on not letting like little things ruin my day. But it's just, I hate inconvenient shit. Like shit going bad for no fucking reason. I hate that shit. I fucking hate that shit. Like it's one thing if I drop my phone on the floor and it's shattered and I have to go get it fixed and it's like, okay, well, I dropped it on the floor. But my headphones? What the fuck did I do to my headphones? I wrote a grocery list. Let me get it. Just a little, a little list. Um, I know that I wanted to look at their spices because I don't know. I feel like my food has not been, you know, like extra seasons how I like it. So yeah, I'm looking for just some new seasonings to try. Let's see. Hey y'all, I'm jumping in from editing with my dog. But if you talk about my wig, like you're anti-black, cause y'all seen I just threw it on with the hat. It was like a quick. Like this is this is a wash and go for the wig girlies, okay? I know people be loving a ranch seasoning, but I don't know what I would put that on. Cilantro lime, everything. Okay, cool. I've been seeing people use that too. The bagel seasoning. Steak seasoning. Garlic and herb. I feel like I have mad. Oh, what is this? Oh, we'll get this complete seasoning. I'm not sure like what this consists of, but garlic and onion. That's basically what it says. Anyways, yeah, we'll try this. Cause why not? Um, ooh, garlic and herb. The tut. Oh shit. Sorry. Ooh, garlic and herb. The rustic Tuscan style. Like this might be good. I'm making a Alfredo pasta with shrimp and chicken so this is good i think or should i just get the police seasoning i'm getting this one for sure i'll get both we're at the dollar tree yeah i'll probably look at some more seasoning at walmart but right now this is cool i'm like obsessed with these these are so fucking good and they're for 10 calories 60 gram protein 16 not 60 love these actually i'm gonna get one more because i will fuck these up quick The Dollar Tree also has meal prep containers. I'm running out of mine. So I wanted to see if I can get a new one, but I don't want one with a divide. See, this doesn't have a divide in the middle, but does it? it? Looks like it does. Oh, it does. Shit. I need one that doesn't. It looks like they all do. Fettuccine noodles, shrimp, chicken. Pepper slash seasonings. Oh, I didn't look for pepper. Let me go. For the sauce, trays, hand soap, drinks, boost. Okay, let's see if they have fettuccine noodles. I always like to get something for my dogs. I'm gonna get these because it comes with a lot and they can chew on these. I have got some of this, um, some Arm and Hammer one, and I like it. We're gonna get the Gentle Rose. Last time I got the uh, mango. We'll get this one. And honestly, I think the soft soap is cheaper at Walmart because it's like 96 cents. At the Dollar Tree, it's 125. So I might skip on that. But I definitely need this. Shit. I don't know if it's just me, but like, I hate when people come in the eyeliner. 
<laughs> I literally hate that. I don't know. And it's not even fair because everybody needs to shop. I don't own the the joint, but like it's so annoying to me. I don't know. So my man's birthday is also coming up. I need this blue gift bag. It's cool. Yeah, we're just gonna do a smaller blue one or or because I kind of wanna um theme like the hotel. I hope he I can't post this until after his birthday and after my sister's birthday too, but I wanna do the hotel like blue and yellow. He doesn't know I'm gonna decorate it. Yeah, spoiling my man. My man, my man, my man. You know what? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I got him three gifts. So we're gonna do the big bag and just two small silver ones. Period. That's cute. Um, my sister's gift hasn't came yet, so I don't know what size bag I need for that, but it's nothing to run back up to the dollar store. I also need to get paint supplies because me and the homegirl is doing a little smoking paint. Super cute. I think these are sufficient. They don't have to be too big. I'm gonna get four. Get four of the little, the little artsy things, whatever that's called. Um, I don't think I need paintbrushes or paint, so that's good. I think really we just needed something to paint on and something to put the paint in. Oh my god! Unless we don't paint pictures, we paint like a wooden thing. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't really talk about exactly what we wanted to paint because this is cute. Oh my gosh, I'm getting us these two. So I went to look for like the little fake candles for the hotel room. For my man. I don't know where they would be at though. Not gonna lie. Oh, I think I see them. No, these are real candles. That's real candles. Okay, yeah, these are tea light candles. So I'm looking for stuff like this, but the fake ones. Cause I'm gonna like book the hotel, set it up. Me and him are gonna go to dinner and then he's gonna walk into the hotel like decorated and cute. Okay, I see some, I see some. These, this is what I'm talking about. LED tea light candles. Shit, they only come two in a pack. And do I need batteries? And for all the people being like, oh, shouldn't he do this for you? Yeah, he should, and he would. And that's why I would do it for him back, period. Let's go to food wagon. Okay, I think that's good on fruit. Um, I could get like basically everything I need from here, but I look at the Walmart because the protein, I drink boost to help me get my protein in and get my calories in throughout the day, especially if I'm having a busy day. It's a protein drink, boost. Um, they're cheaper at Walmart than they are here, but sometimes they be having a sale. So let's go check that sale. Let's see if they got a sale, which I hope they do because then I don't have to go to Walmart, but We'll see, we'll see. So these are the drinks I was talking about. They're $21.69. Um, they're like around this price at Walmart. Actually, I feel like this price may be cheaper. I don't know. I'm gonna get this just cause I don't feel like going to Walmart. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. So we're gonna get everything from here. I know, I wanna get some drinks. Oh shit, I just tripped. <laughs> hey, y'all didn't even see that. I'm gonna get these. Or two for 
seven. Yeah. We're gonna get this big thing of Gatorade down here with the three different flavors. We need shrimp, but that's not over here. We need the sauce. Like, I do use canned sauce, but if you season your meats very well, the seasoning will go into the sauce and it makes it taste like a million, trillion times better. And I actually like to get like Parmesan sauce, not really Alfredo. But hey, we can make another running that's that sound. But oh my gosh, we're about to take this right now. Honestly, it'd be feeling like I have three days of breaking out and two days of clear skin. Ow! So I just decided I want to do a little bit of extra skincare. I know I look so dry, but we're gonna do something about that because I just got some new skincare that I want to try out from Mary Kay, I was like this little party. I haven't used Mary Kay in I don't know how long. Like I grew up with Mary Kay, my mom used to sell it. Y'all know how black moms be. I didn't realize how high quality the products actually were, like period. So I spent $200 <laughs> on Mary Kay. Listen, like listen. When you go to like a Mary Kay party, they make you fall in love. They do their job good. <laughs> Right now, I'm using my Shea Moisture Acne Black Soap. I use this every day. Well, I use it every night. And it does my skin well. It's for like troubled skin. Clean face. Oh, this is bummy, but I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Anyway. Um, so the first things I wanna try out is this Mary Kay Satin Lips. We're gonna use the Shea Sugar Scrub first which I was, I wanted to give this one a sugar scrub because I be smoking and you know, the more you smoke, your lips can turn black. And I don't think I'm paranoid, but I feel like my lips are starting to try to do that and I don't want that. So yeah, I, I, be, I do all the methods, the toothbrush, I use the e.l.f. lip scrub. I'm gonna use this lip scrub, yeah. I do it all sis. Maybe I'm vain, but honestly, this is probably for a good reason. I'm not gonna stick by no drug that's changing my appearance. No she, no she. But I love me a J at the end of the day. So I'm gonna try to prevent that so I can keep vibing. Honestly, the lip scrub, I would have to give it, I'm gonna do like five stars, like out of five stars, yeah give it a three because this is my first time using it and I don't know I don't feel like it was abrasive enough how I like it like the elf lip scrub is very abrasive love it oh I also use a tree hut lip scrub which was I would give that like a two out of five stars but anyway the other thing that I have is a shea butter balm for your lips and I remember using this at the party and I love this actually like my lips felt very hydrated Yes, ma'am. And if does it have SPF? If it has SPF, that just makes it perfect. It doesn't. Great. Now we're going to use the deep cleansing charcoal mask. I used to use charcoal mask all the time. It was the uh, free oh, it was the Freeman mask. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I loved it down. But I don't know. Like since I started seeing the Freeman mask and more cheaper places because i'm thinking that's a high quality mask <laughs> i know it's like such a decent price but like it's helping my skin some of them are really helping my skin but once i saw the freeman um brands like at places like dollar tree five below i was like okay hmm 
but if an inexpensive product product <laughs> if an inexpensive product works for you like keep using it you know what i'm saying like just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's gonna work and just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's not gonna work so it was working for me so i was sticking by them but then they started making face masks like um with glitter in it and like crazy shit shit that you know damn well not supposed to be on your face so i, I just stopped taking them serious i'm a skincare bitch so yes i i care i, I get deep down into it yeah i'm literally gonna be starting a new birth control so every time i miss like my birth control or any change of hormones especially with my birth control my skin breaks out that's the first thing that happens so i definitely want to be up on my skincare right now because i'm switching birth control and i take the pill i'll be doing the mail order service because i just it's so convenient like it's no stress like oh i have to go pick my birth control out from the pharmacy like no it's coming straight to my house if you're interested in this if you're not like skip forward whatever but about birth controls if you want to be put on really <laughs> but anyways um i used to use Nurex and they blew my fucking shit so i stopped using Nurex and i went to this place called the pill club which it was cheaper the staff was like more competent and it was just better like loved it and they give you you're paying for three months of birth control so they that's three packs they give you an extra one just in case something with your order gets fucked up or something like let's say you have your card on file somebody steals your card so you cancel it or whatever you do with the card <laughs> that's stolen whatever and um they try to charge that card and it doesn't go through it's like then you don't get your birth control but you have that safety pack that fourth pack that they give you so you don't have the stress like you know okay like i can at least get some more birth control in the next month i love that one but they sold their company to nurex so you know what i was like well fuck it i'm gonna give nurex another try obviously they're the ones running shit they're so fucking incompetent i don't understand first i tried to get my refill and they were saying like oh like you don't have an insurance on no they asked me they ask you questions if you want to use your insurance if you have high blood pressure like that whole consultation part i told them i don't need insurance i want to pay out of pocket because that's always what i've done so it's just like whatever the next thing i know and let me tell you mind you it's taking like six days for them to get back to me and they're like yeah they're busy with other people who had transferred from the pill club just like me so i get it but it's like you're taking long as hell to get back to me and you're telling me dumb shit so like please get out of my face like for real so they're telling me um i don't have insurance on file so they canceled my my subscription or my prescription y'all get me um i was like yeah i told you i didn't want to do that like i wanted to pay out of pocket i literally said that shit so it was that and then like i had to put in a whole new order because they canceled my shit and then they canceled it again for some stupid fucking reason like i don't it was just so oh my god now i'm using planet planet what is it plant planned i'm using planned parenthood yeah and i am paying more but let me tell you they shipped that shit ASAP. Like, they didn't waste no time with me. Thanks. Thanks. Like, they are women's women. You know we need that birth control. Like, don't be playing in my face. Like, and they didn't. So, yeah. that That's the whole rant. <laughs> While I have this face mask on, I'm about to do my toes. Do a two-in-one. A little pamper night. Just because I deserve it. Like, Yes girls and boys you need to just be doing shit because you deserve it just because you deserve to feel that happy period now that that's cleaned up oh my god the pimple looks worse if y'all don't know you don't want to do a face mask before like an important event because it's literally supposed to bring the dirt to the top but then you deal with the dirt that comes to the top and then after that skin is looking great so by the time i go back to work Let's hope the skin is looking great. Um, I have my ice roller. I do this not as consistently as I should, but like not, 
All right, this was giving me glass skin and making my skin glow. Everybody was telling me like my skin was glowing. You could literally notice the difference and you can see it in one day. Like before uh, my birthday food photo shoot this year, before like just important times, I would do this the night before and the skin is glowy the next day. Like it's that fast results, but it doesn't like, but of course, with everything, you have to be consistent so it can stay like that. The benefits of this is that it's hydrating your skin. Like, I'm sure a lot of people know, like, drinking water um, gives you clear skin. It's just because you're constantly flushing out the toxins, one, and it's just hydrating your skin and giving it a healthy barrier. And this basically is doing that, giving your skin a healthy barrier without having to drink water. My little toner that I use, this is literally just aloe vera. Next thing, ah, we're using the Hydrogel eye patches. So I do have bags in my eyes because the bitch works. I own businesses. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty, like, and it comes with the little spoon so you don't have to keep like digging your dirty fingers into your product oh they're pretty they're a sparkly pink can y'all see oh this is a vibe pink 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 yeah, like yeah such a vibe anyways oh i'm pouring it out the goo is coming out okay oh so cute <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just finished cooking. I was supposed to film that, but I'm in a rush. Literally, when am I not in a rush? Like, I'm in a rush right now as well. But anyway, we're going to hook up this. Oh, it's already hooked up. This hot comb. And start getting my wig prepped. Because this is what it looks like right now. A fucking mess. And I just got this new brush. So cute. I don't like this angle. Hold on. This is better. Oh, you kind of see a lot of my mess. But listen, I'm a busy girl. So, my face is breaking out. Like, this is my third pimple patch that I put on it. And look, I talk so highly about these fucking pimple patches. Saying, like, it would go away overnight. Nah. It did not do that. Maybe I just need a better brand. I'm just doing my eyebrows. So, I just put some primer on my eyebrows. Um, honestly... I'm gonna start putting the glue on my forehead and just instead of blow drying it dry I'm gonna do some other things until it's dry so we just gelled that back now I'm going to clean the front we're using the bold hold active um, burst Alonzo Arnold edition I really like this glue I've used it in a few of my videos so I can link it down below for y'all. I used to use the Bold Hold Active and that worked for me really good until it didn't, like it just stopped working. But this one, it's eating down, it's working. So I wanted to do like a life update low key, just let y'all know what's been going on with me. Or if you're new here, let y'all know what I got going on, you know. So, me and my man's anniversary is literally next week, our one year anniversary. It's crazy like how fast time flies. Like it has not felt like a year. It's like in some ways it has, but then in other ways it hasn't. Like, I don't know. And then I've known him for longer. Like we didn't get together right when I met him. Like I knew him for a couple of months before we got together. So we just known each other so long and it doesn't feel that way. I have a busy October. So it's my anniversary, October 1st. 
then it's my sister's birthday then it's my man's birthday and then we have a trip to miami which oh uh, i can do videos about that a little trip to miami i don't know if i'll vlog because it's for his birthday and like his family paid for it so you know that's like their thing but i can definitely do a pack with me get ready with me whatever whatever all right let's get this wig under control because it looks crazy but yeah so me and my man are doing good been together for a year and my job is good like in october where everybody's getting a raise so like duh love that and i really did need that raise because like i told y'all i have all this shit to do in october all these events i need as much money as i can i'm fucking joking why is it always like when you're in a rush, like the stupidest things happen? And if you're not putting black on the tails of your eyebrows, what the hell are you doing? What the fuck are you doing with your life? Like, oh, well, wait till I clean it up and cover this pimple. Then it's gonna eat. Oh, and it's time for the third layer. And after we're done with our eyebrows, we can straight glue this wig on. But honestly, like, since I literally have to rush everywhere I go, <laughs> and that's because I have bad time management, but um, I be knowing how to do things fast. Like there definitely was a time I did my eyebrows in like three minutes. I could do that on the regular if my eyebrows are like cleaned up already. Like right now they're not super cleaned up. But if they were, girl, it only take me like five minutes to do my eyebrows. Mm, you still see the pimple, but ugh, whatever. It's not gonna disappear, so. Fine, fine. Boom. I was turning my glue white. hit it with the elastic band oh just a little quick little install if y'all are in a rush that's what you need to do and yes we're gonna keep the elastic band on jen jen oh i get it that shit is like my head yo if you know you know let me get a hair tie on my wrist I hate when I think I want to be cute and wear my hair down and I don't bring hair tie because then it's nothing about being like it's nothing cute about being overstimulated and that's what happens when I don't bring a hair tie all right y'all 